What is going on guys, it's Kai here and welcome to another video. Now in today's video we are bringing it back to basics and we have got a how to cop guide for the Yeezy 700 Bright Blues. These are releasing on the 24th and we're going to give you all the information you need. This is in terms of resale predictions, how to cop, investment information, what sites you should aim for to actually get these shoes and obviously all the help you need with extra details in the video as well. So let's not waste any time and get straight into the video. If you would like to join my cook group guys, please get the top link in the description. In my cook group, basically we give you all the information you need as a sneaker reseller. Whether you are a manual sneaker reseller, whether you are botting, whether you are a beginner, whether you are advanced, we have all the information you need. We give you in-depth resale predictions, investment information for most releases that are good investments. We give you a one-on-one -on -one call every single month where I actually do a personal call with you, whoever wants one, and we give you a one-on-one -on -one help to really give you that personalized help that no other cook group does give you. It gives you tips on how to expand your reselling career and also how to scale it. So enough blabbering on, let's get to the house cop guide. This is what you came for, so let's talk about it. The Yeezy 700 Bright Blues. These are going to be retailing for £210 and you can expect to resell to be over £300. Now looking at this shoe, Yeezy 700s do tend to perform quite well and it does kind of give you a wave runner kind of vibe. However, the colorway is a bit whack, that's in my opinion. Now Yeezy 700s have always been known to have low stock and this will actually drive up the price for this shoe. So that's why I can expect resale predictions to be at least 280 or maybe even 300 plus. The best sizes in my opinion will be your base sizes, so you size four and a half to six, this is UK, just because of the pure fact, look at all the past previous models of Yeezys. From my research and from my experience, these have always been the ones that do best. However, you've got to remember, there is going to be less stock of the four and a half to six, just because of the pure fact of the sizes eight to 12 usually gets produced the most, and sizes four and a half to six don't get produced as much, but the demand is still there because a lot of girls like to wear the shoe, and that's why the resale is usually higher for these Yeezys. As I said, retail is very high, and it does kind of put me off a bit. However, with the high resale predictions, it's definitely a cop from me. Let's talk about some raffles that you can enter to get your hands on this shoe. So the biggest one is always gonna be the original retailer itself. Adidas. Now, if you haven't seen Adidas, they've actually changed the way of doing their raffles. They now have it all on the new Adidas confirmed app. So please download that and enter it through there. Now, I'm also going to list some other raffles for you guys to enter, and I definitely do recommend it. However, please remember if you are from the UK, if you're entering these EU raffles, you can hit expected um, import fees. So please be careful which ones you are entering, and please be aware that you might get import fees for some of them, which I do not believe is worth for this shoe. So stick to the UK raffles, which I will go through now. If you enter end, you won't get import fees. Same with Hanon, same with SNS, same with side launches, same with Foot Patrol. And I'm also gonna enter, um, I'm also gonna tell you some EU ones now. People who aren't from the UK, you can enter Foot Shop EU as well as all the other ones I've said. BSTN, well gosh, or a, a few EU, sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's loads. Um, we give you all the links in the cook group if you are in it, you're loving it. Um, but yeah, moving on to investment information. Um, when I say investing, uh, someone mentioned this on the last video, that I'm still gonna go for the shoe for retail, but when I mean investing, that means I'm not gonna pay for resale and hold it for months, okay? I'm obviously still gonna go for it for retail and quick flip it and make my hundred pound per shoe there quite happily, but I'm not gonna be buying pairs for retail, holding for three months and hoping they go up. Now, investments with Yeezys are very, very weird. Okay, the problem with them is there's usually too much stock compared to demand, which basically means that no one's actually wearing the shoes. And when no one wears the shoes, that means that the amount of pairs is just staying in circulation, essentially. And that leads the price just to not go up. However, this is a quite a cool shoe. Um, because it's a Yeezy 700, it usually has lower stock. Now, usually with Yeezys, they have high stock, but that's usually 350s. So 700s are kind of a bit separate. So this is why I can believe that maybe, maybe they could be a potential investment in this shoe. In my opinion, it's risky and it's very risky. So I will not be investing into it because I do believe there's better shoes for that. And in terms of first come first serve, you can't really expect many sites to do this. This basically means they put it on the site and the first one to click on it, first one to add basket wins or gets the shoe. Foot Locker and Offspring will be your main ones if you are from the UK. And there might be a couple other ones such as like Snipes and stuff like that if you're from the EU, but I am not too knowledgeable when it comes to EU. With Foot Locker, I would not recommend going for it if you are not botting because you can have no chance. Offspring is very good to be fair. 
Um, offspring basically have um, a way of just releasing it first click on it, gets the shoe. Foot Locker is more of a, you have to run thousands of tasks with botting, otherwise you're not gonna get the shoe because other people are botting it as well. But yeah, overall, definite cop, definitely go for the shoe. Size four and a half to six, enter all the raffles possible. Be careful with UK and import fees because at the end of the day, you don't want to be charged £100 uh, import fees as well on top of the retail. But yeah, apart from that, I do really hope you guys did enjoy the video. We are going quite well at the moment and we are pulling in good views. So please show your support, drop comments in and we might have a giveaway coming up soon. So stay tuned with that. And apart from that, I'm going to keep helping you out, guys. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, leave a like in the video. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Good luck in all your releases. And yeah, 